I was gonna say that I had coffee and it was my favorite thing ever, but then my camera died and I drank it all. Hey, what's up guys? So, new video, woo, 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 woo! Today's video is going to be about my first year at college. And I have some tips for you, people who are going to college next year for the first time ever. Yay, let's start it! So, my first year was a total roller coaster ride, up and down, swirls and twirls and loop de loops and everything. I moved in with my best friend, I had a fight with my other best friend, and we still don't talk to this day, which meh. I went to my first college party and totally friggin' hated it. Not a party gal. Had about like 11 bugs in my room, moved to a different room. I was in my first college show and met some really great people and had a totally awesome experience. Got into a fight with the best friend that I moved in with. Decided like the second week into moving in that college was not for me and I wanted out. Transferred to a different school that was closer to home during my second semester. I met some really, really awesome people there and totally found my place. I got broken up with, had my first college hookup, and overall just had some really, really great experiences, even though it was a huge hell of a roller coaster ride. A couple months ago, I made a video about why I hate college, and some of it still applies, and I will link that right here, so go ahead and check that out. But for now, let's move on to the tip part of the video based on my college experience. Don't move in with your best friend. Doesn't matter if you think you guys will be friends forever, it might screw up your friendship, and you don't want to do that with your best friend. Everybody poops. You will totally be okay with pooping after your, like, third time. You'll be, like, dropping them, like, things that get dropped very easily. Something that will help you poop a lot more will be the dining hall food. Trust me, it may look good, it... That's a lie. Dining food hall does not look good ever, but you deal with it. And it makes you poop a lot. So, one of the greatest tips that I can give you, and what I did the night before my classes started, is try and take a tour with you and any friends you made or whatever. I went with my two best friends there. I took a tour around campus and like found out where my classes would be held so I would know so you don't look like a total freshie the first day of classes. Like you just know where your shit is. If someone invites you somewhere, please try and push yourself to go. I know change is scary. I know new people can be scary. Trust me. I know I'm terrified of change, but please try and push yourself to go because you will most likely enjoy yourself so much and you can meet the people that could be in your life forever. You will hear this a lot, I know I heard it a lot, that you should get involved in campus and that's like totally true, whatever, blah blah blah. But try your best to get involved at least in your major because that's going to be your family for the next four years. So try and get involved really, really early. You do not have to be BFFs with your roommate. Take classes that you enjoy. You're going to be paying for it, so why not pay thousands of dollars to take classes that you don't like? Go to class for the same exact reason. You're paying thousands and thousands of dollars to go to class. On that note, you can skip a couple classes. Everybody needs a mental day, so go ahead and skip them. I know I've skipped a billion and two. You just need it sometimes. Whatever you do, what Ever you do, do not take 8 a.m.s. You may think that you can wake up early for high school and take your 8 a.m. classes till 3 o'clock, but trust me, you will not want to wake up and go to a class at 8 o'clock in the morning for an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Just do not take an 8 a.m. And overall, just learn to enjoy your time there. You're going to be paying thousands and thousands of dollars and going to be there for the next four years. So why not enjoy yourself? Try and push yourself to open up. Try and meet new people. Try and get involved. At least, Like I said, at least in your major, you'll have a lot more fun pushing yourself and just trying to enjoy your time. And just know that if you don't like something, change it. Leave it. Move on. I know I did. Literally moved home so that I can enjoy my college experience. And I did, I found my place and I am enjoying my time because I changed something. College is supposed to be fun and yeah, I did not think that college was for me and I have learned and I realized and I have met the people that can help me and make me believe that I can survive these next couple years to go into a career that I have so much passion for and so much love for. And that's awesome! So please go and enjoy your college experience. It's going to be hell and it's going to be fun. 
So enjoy every waking moment of that roller coaster. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you enjoy your next year. Guys, trust me, it's, like I said, a hell of a roller coaster, but it's a lot of fun. So please enjoy it. Like right here for my last video, it is a cat eye tutorial that I did. Um, hope you have an awesome day. You keep doing you. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. That was a weird wave.